Well, amid concerns about chronic wasting disease, the city of Winona recently decided to eliminate deer at its deer park. While city, the city maintains it's doing the right thing, one resident is outraged over how those deer were put down. KGTC's Holden Cruzmark joins us live in the studio with both sides of the story. Holden. Well, Tom, Caitlin, Scott Nation and his son went to Winona's Deer Park to see the deer one last time, but their experience was not as they expected. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I never see nothing even on movies that would be that, you know. It's like a warfare. So let's go get these deer and that's it. Thursday morning, a group led by the Winona Public Works Department went to Lefty Himes Memorial Deer Park to put down the deer there. In a recent council action, they chose to not continue the deer park, not continue in the budget. And we weren't exactly sure when that would end, when we'd be getting rid of the deer. Uh, this morning, we chose to to dispatch the deer and get rid of them. Nelson says a Minnesota state agricultural representative and a police officer were on the scene when it happened. We wanted to do it in a safe way, in a humane way, and uh, somewhat of a discreet way. We didn't want to um, you know, cause a big stir with doing it. Scott Nation and his son were fans of the deer. Now I knew what's coming up, but I didn't know soon. We wanted to get out there and see the deer before they were gone. We went to the bench and sat down by the bench over by the park. And all of a sudden we heard sound like gunfire and a bunch of deer running all over and nation says they were mortified by what they saw and how the crew acted in getting rid of the deer. But Nelson says the crew involved cared about the deer. Are the staff that was involved in doing this are a crew that have been taking care of this deer herd for 20 plus years. Uh, to them is more like they were pets than anything. And it was a time uh, they didn't enjoy what they were doing. Uh, but they were able to put the deer down and they did so professionally. I talked to him earlier, I actually called him, mm -hmm. and I asked him about this. Well, he told me it's a third party, nobody involved with the deer. They hire a company to come in. Did, were the police out there, was that? No, nope. they out there? I didn't see no they police were... out there, no, nobody, okay. else. nobody else, just us and them. So did you see anybody from the Department of Agriculture? No, nope, it was Any, just three like plane trucks out there, nothing okay. marked. Did you say there was someone from the DNR here? For from you? the Department of Agriculture. Okay. Nation says according to the information he read, they were not supposed to shoot the deer with euthanizing them. Nelson said after they shot the deer, they buried them properly as they were instructed by the Ag Department representative. Nation says that was upsetting as well because of the way it was handled. They went down, just dumped the deer out, put wood chips over the top of them, and mm -hmm. left them. Nation posted his displeasure about his experience on Facebook, which stirred up a lot of reaction online. There was an individual that remained on site and from the public that watched it. I'm not sure why they didn't leave, but that person did post some things that... Uh, I thought were inappropriate. Nation says he could take the matter to court. Yes, I, well, I told him right out on phone, if you don't get something done and you know, get it done right, I am going to go far. I'm going to seek legal counsel. Mm -hmm. I want something done, done with this city the way they handle this. They were never supposed to shoot them. Mm -hmm. And they never had barricades. They did it all the wrong way. They lied about everything they were going to do with those deer. When my photographer and I went to the dog park, we did find the wood chips and what appeared to be deer carcasses buried underneath. I reached out to the DNR about whether that was a proper way to dispose of the deer, but the official I spoke with said they didn't have enough information to comment at this time. Reporting live in the studio, Holden Cruzmark, KTDC News.